everybody, it's Amanda back from Amanda Rose Tarot, and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. The subject or theme of this particular reading is going to be how to manifest more money into your life. So, um, yeah, we want some advice on how to just create more opportunities for us, you know, to for doors to open. Um, for changes to come in for us financially. Um, the cards that we're using today are the Gilded Deck and we're also using the Witch's Wisdom Oracle. So those are the two cards that we're using today, um, but we should get plenty of information from just those two decks. So the icons that you have to choose from today, the first one is this Pile of Cash. I'm not going to say what it is just because I don't want to say it. Uh, and we've got the second one, which is the money and the dollar signs. And then the third one is the shopping bag and all of the shoes. So that is number three. So I'm just going to do my energy chime and then I'm going to give you a minute to pick which pile you're drawn to. And then we'll see how to manifest more money into your life. Okay, so if you chose number one, this pile of cash, let's see how can you manifest more money into your life. Okay, you've got the hanged man. You've got the nine of cups. You've got the two of swords. You've got the chalice and the keyword is fulfillment. And this card does mean a little bit something different uh, in the witch's wisdom than it does in the traditional tarot. So just to let you know. And then the final card that you got is death. And it's some Samhan. I'm not sure how to say that, but this is the death card. Very similar to the death card in traditional tarot. Okay, so what do you need to do to manifest more money into your life? Very good question. Um, the first thing that I'm seeing here is to let go of old patterns. So if there's behaviors that you're doing um, that are preventing you from uh, truly being free to manifest more money, then it's time to um, let go of those things. So. Um, step into your power and embrace that we are changing people. If you look back at your life, um, you know, say 10 years ago, reflect on who you were. You're always transforming. You're always changing and it's always for the better. So don't cling to old ways. Um, get where you desire to be by changing. So we all have cycles in life, we all change in life, and just realize that you're going through one of those periods right now. So step back into your power and just figure out, you know, why am I transforming? What are these things that I need to let go of? Maybe you're clinging to your old self because that's your identity and you're afraid of losing your identity. But no, by changing, it's it's not death, you know, it's not death, it's just escalating to a higher plane, you know, where you can reach the things that you desire to have. So this is really a good thing um, that you're going through a period of change. It's here, so just embrace it. Um, you know, don't be afraid of it. Embrace that inner wisdom, you know, when we get older, um, we learn things, we transform, we become wiser. So don't don't cling to your old self. Just know that you're escalating. Um, you're going to be able to reach your dreams, your desires, um, if you can just let go of your old self. You know that you're not losing your identity. You're just actually losing 
um, the things that aren't helping you. It's freedom. It's actually good. And then you've got the chalice card. So with this card, um, it's really, it's a watery card. So it's really talking about your intuition. Um, you know, intuition is magical. We can't really see it, but it's something that you need to listen to and don't stop listening to it. So, um, you can have what you want. You really can have what you want um, if you can connect with your intuition. Um, that fulfillment has always been inside you. Think of yourself as this vessel. You've always had that power inside you. It's just a matter of checking you know, up on it and being like, oh yeah, I know what I need to do. You know, I'm, I'm not giving up on life. I, I know exactly what I need to do to make my life better. For a lot of you, it could be actual, you know, your intuition, that magical side of you. It could be following the ways of the old, you know. Um, you know, maybe scouring books, reading about the ways of old, and maybe you want to adapt some of those into your life to help you. Um, you know, maybe you're too much in your emotions right now, so you need kind of an outlet um, so maybe your intuition has been telling you that you need to start doing something else. What you're doing isn't working for you. You need to change. So what is it? Is it, you know, drinking more water? Should we take this literally as drink more water? That's one simple way to look at it. Or it could just be drinking of life, drinking of the old ways, learning, you know, scouring books, reading pages, learning, um, you know, obtaining as much knowledge as you can because you're transforming. And it's not for the bad, it's actually for the good. Um, you've also got the Two of Swords here. So for some of you out there, I think that um, you're not really listening to your intuition. Uh, you have it, you know, it's there, but you're just, for some reason, you're you just... Pretend like you don't know. Maybe you have these um, these voices in your head that keep telling you something. These repeating words in your head that say, well, maybe you shouldn't do that. You know, um, that's your intuition. That's you speaking to you. That's your higher self speaking to you. So you're not crazy. Uh, if you have voices in your head, you're not really crazy. This is... Um, this is your intuition trying to tell you what to do, but are you blocking it off? Are you not listening to it? Um, some of you out there might have a closed heart as well. So, you know, tap into your emotions, but don't excessively, you know? Some of you out there, I think you're, you're way too much um, into your emotions. And some of you out there where I think you've kind of blocked off your emotions. So... There's a lot of people watching, so take whatever you feel, um, you know, relates to you. But some of you out there, uh, you need to make a decision as well, maybe to cut away some of these old things, you know, things that normally you would embrace, but now that you've changed, you know, you're not clinging to your old self anymore. You're, you're finding new things to do, um, things that really make you happy. I mean, it's as simple as that, the Nine of Cups. So it's like um, getting in touch with what you really want. What do you wish for? What do you dream for? Um, what do you want to materialize in your life? You know, it's as simple as that. I'm sure that your intuition has been telling you what you want. Um, a lot of us have dreams, you know. We know what we want. It's just a matter of tapping into that, figuring out what it is, figuring out what you shouldn't be clinging to. Um, you know, I think some of you out there, it's like you feel like there's a potential that you could lose yourself, you know. You could lose your identity, who you really are, you know. So you become unbalanced um, and maybe you... You know, maybe you over drink some of you out there because we've got this big cup here and then we've got all of these nine cups here. So some of you, it's like you're trying to transform, you're trying to change. 
and then you're resisting, okay? So you're losing ground again. And it's like this vicious cycle you're playing with yourself. You're like, oh, well, I'm going to grow. I'm going to change. Oh, no, I'm, I, I'm not comfortable with that. Let's go back. Let's go back. I don't want to lose my identity, you know. But still, you want to get where you want to be. But, you know, you're, you're scared when it comes down to changing. It can be very challenging. A change can be challenging for some people. For other people, they're just like, oh, whatever, change. Yeah, that's fine. You know, some people can really embrace it. And there's other people that have so much trouble um, getting free from, you know, these old patterns, these old behaviors. They don't want to take a risk. You know, they're scared. They're not... Um, they're not good at taking chances. And I feel like some of you out there could be. Um, others of you, you are growing. You are changing. You're letting go of your old self. You're checking your emotions. So you're becoming balanced. Um, you're listening to your intuition. Um, you've also got the hanged man here. So maybe it is time to just, you know, take a break. Um, surrender to what you're going through. To have faith. And... Some of you are going to have to make sacrifices, you know. Um, I'm sure this isn't comfortable with the way that this, this hanged man is hanging upside down. It doesn't seem very comfortable to me. Um, but some of you are going to have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations to actually get that wisdom, you know. That inner crone that, you know, is inside you. Um, that person has the wisdom. So don't be afraid to tap into that inner crone. That person there has the wisdom. They've, they've lived all these years with you and they want to help you to escalate higher. So, you know, just to realize that death is not bad. And the sooner you embrace your, your dying self, the, the easier your transformation is going to be. So this really isn't any kind of like quick tips to you know, get your business to take off the ground. This is really like a strong foundation on which to build. So if you pick number one, really deep, but there's a lot of potential there to help you um, to maybe end a negative cycle. So that's what I'm getting. Hopefully you like that. Um, let me know down in the comments if that resonates with you. And uh, if you would like a personal reading, then just check out my Etsy page. Okay, so if you pick number two, uh, this money icon with the little dollar signs there, kind of like that one. Okay, let's see. So how can you manifest more money into your life? Simple as that. I've got the hermit. We've got the six of wands. We've got the two of pentacles. Got the Watchtower of the West, and the keyword is Autumn. Okay, and you've got the Watchtower of the East Spring. So um, these are also elemental cards. So this one would be Air Element, and this one would be, this is a Water Element. So just to let you know what's going on there, um, Okay, so let's start with the spring cards. So we're coming into spring, so this could be actually a really good time for you. Um, your creative juices are going to start flowing. With the element of air, we can get, you know, fresh new ideas. We can focus on new beginnings, starting new things. Um, the winds of change come in, and they bring us really good fortune. So the element of air is really about... Um, it's about good communication skills. It's about um, writing, testing, um, poetry. It's really an intellectual element. So um, anything to do with any of that, writing, um, communication, um, anything creative like that is going to be really, really good for you coming this spring and actually starting right now. Um, so we haven't even gotten into spring yet, but you're already starting to spring up. Um, now is the time actually to start planting the seeds of what you desire, what you want, 
and then expect magic to help them to um, to help to assist you to reach whatever goals it is that you want. So the element of air is with you right now. So there's going to be new things starting for you. So get ready. You know, um, creativity is good right now. So anything that you do create creatively is going to flourish. Um, so. I mean, what else can I say? This is a really, really good card to get when we're asking about manifesting more money. This is just like, okay, you plant the seeds and then they grow. You get what you want. So this is manifest manifesting at its best when you get, um, you know, the spring card. And then you've got the autumn card. So um, autumn is really a time of cleansing, kind of letting go. It's healing on all levels. Um, so let those emotions come to the surface. Don't let yourself get overly sensitive. Um, it's time for work on yourself, for inner work on yourself. And, you know, just doing you, focusing on you. Um, rein in on any of those excessive emotions, being overly sensitive to maybe what other people say. Um, you know, this will really help you to heal um, your heart, you know, your mind. All of that, I feel like, is going to be getting healed. There's going to be more harmony. Um, you're going to feel an inner peace coming into you, more tranquility. So focus on you is what this is saying and focus on healing yourself, not being overly sensitive, um, just kind of going with the flow is kind of what I'm getting here, but also focusing on being creative and, you know, planting those seeds of what you do want. With the Two of Pentacles, I think you're gonna, it's gonna be a struggle. You're gonna have to learn how to multitask. So it's a matter of choosing what's important to you, okay? Where do your priorities lie? And make a list, maybe make a list from one to 10. What what are the most important things in your life? So it's weighing it up, it's balancing things to figure out um, what do I have time for? And the thing that you should make time for is what's most important to you. Um, maybe there's a lot of things that are important to you. You're going to have to make choices and you're going to have to learn to multitask. Um, but you know, I feel like things are, th creative things are going to be happening for you. So just keep going. That's, you know, that's the energy I get with the two of pentacles. Keep on going. You're doing okay. You haven't dropped anything yet. I mean, you're able to juggle these pentacles. It's almost like effortless to him because he's been doing it so long. It's like, okay, well, I can keep all of these balls in the air as long as we don't add another one. So I think that you're able to manage, you're able to, um, take on these responsibilities. So it could be balancing the books. It could be making sure the kids get off to school, you know, doctor's appointments, everything, you know, trying to eat healthy, trying to exercise. There's a lot of things that we, you know, we don't see that we do. Things that are just routine for us. But you have to start pr prioritizing what is most important to you. If it's your children, you know, then maybe make some more time for your children. Um, if it's your spouse, then maybe it's time to, you know, take some time off and focus on, um, you know, celebrating together that you have each other, um, you know, before you lose that person, you know, you could lose that person and then all of those moments are gone. And what are you, you're, you're left working, you know, 60 hours a week and, you know, then you've lost your life partner. So I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm not saying anything negative that you're going to lose your partner, but I'm just saying prioritize because you're not going to be able to juggle these things forever. Okay. So let go of some things, focus on you, focus on the things that are most important to you. And then look, you're going to have victory. You're going to have success. You're going to have wishes fulfilled. So there's good news coming in for you. This could be some sort of promotion. Um, people noticing you. Like there's a crowd around this person. This person is being admired. This person has 
some sort of attainment, you know? These people wouldn't be standing around watching this person if they hadn't achieved something, if they didn't have some sort of status. So I see good luck with this card here. I see growth. I see positive growth. Um, focusing on yourself. Maybe it's your ego. Maybe um, you need to get your ego back. Maybe your ego took a knock. You know, something happened. Get back to yourself. Love yourself. And the rest is going to fall, you know, into place. So plant those seeds of what you really want, what you desire, what you really need in your life, and you'll get it. You know, it's as simple as that. And the final card that you got is the Hermit card. So with this card, really you need to go within. So probably meditating more. If you if you don't meditate, um, you can try like I do at night. I'll put on a video as I go to sleep. Uh, there's plenty of them on YouTube. And you can manifest money. Um, you can manifest love. You can manifest self-love. You can manifest anything while you sleep. Um, I find that the easiest way to meditate is when I'm in a, a calm state, when I'm in kind of a, you know, half conscious state, I still can input the information, um, rather than taking a break halfway during the day when, you know, your adrenaline's going, you've been working and stuff like that. I find it better, easier for me to meditate at night. So it may be something that you've got to fit into your routine, um, it's really not hard to do that. Uh, it, it's pretty simple and just doing that simple thing could actually help you. So um, you're on this this quest, this spiritual quest and look, you're you're attaining things. Look, this person is represents like the crown or the wizard or whatever you want to call it. You know, this person has um, really learned a lot. This person knows what's going on in their life. Um, they're not afraid of being alone. Um, they withdraw because they, they focus on themselves, you know, and they, um, withdraw in a happy place. You know, this person isn't, um, he's not doing anything to hurt anybody. Uh, he's just focusing on, he almost looks like he has his eyes closed. It's just like he's meditating. He is, he, he wants to seek the light, you know, the light source. So I think that's just a, one more thing that they're saying that you should focus on is uh, going within, um, focusing on positive things, manifesting things, and trying to not take on so many responsibilities, prioritize, um, yeah, cleansing, healing, um, not being too overly sensitive, um, new beginnings, focus on new beginnings. So that's all I have for you. Really good advice. Um, I, I think very helpful advice from the cards. So, um, yeah, if you would like something similar to this, then just check out my Etsy. You can message me over there. I don't have any money readings over there, but we can, you know, just do like a one question, two question, whatever you would want to do. Okay, and last but not least, if you picked the shopping bags and the shoes. So if that's your thing, then you probably chose that. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Wands. We've got two tens here. Okay, we've got Boundaries, a Thame, I think is how you pronounce that. And then the final card that you got is spell and the keyword is manifestation. What, what is this reading all about? Manifestation. Okay, perfect. So we have two tens here. Tens are about completion. They're about ending of a cycle. Um, so I think a lot of you out there are ending a cycle in your life. Um, this is a good thing. This is actually a good thing. Um, I think that if you have been taking on too many burdens, uh, maybe being stressed, exhausted, just too many responsibilities, I think that you are 
ready to, you know, feel more free, kind of put down some of those things that have been burdening you and, you know, be able to move better on your, your path, your journey. So some of you out there, I think, um, have felt very weighed down. I think some of you have maybe hit rock bottom. You know, it's like there's there's no way you can go. There's no lower you can go down. You know, you've hit rock bottom. So the only way to go is up. So if you want to think of it in a positive way, uh, yeah, that's the best way I can come up with it. I'm not trying to make light of your situation. I'm just trying to put a positive spin on it. So some of you out there, maybe it's, um, you know, your job, maybe there's there's been abuse at your job, or maybe uh, people have betrayed you, divorce, you know, all of those fun things that we all go through, I think that you have been going through. Um, and I'm sure it hasn't been comfortable at all. Um, with the boundaries card, this is very important. So I think what happened is that you got diverted off your true path. That's what happened. Um, something t sent you into a tailspin and you stopped focusing on what was really important to you. And you didn't set clear boundaries with people around you. And you let people make demands on you. And, you know... You haven't cut those energy ties with those people, or maybe that's what you're doing right now, okay? So some of you out there have started cutting those energetic ties with those people, the people that make too many demands on you, um, they don't take you seriously, um, they treat you like you're a pushover, and they, you know, they, they just want you to give the, your attention to them. So maybe they demand your attention. It could be any of these things or it could be all of these things. And why haven't you drawn a line with these people yet? You know, um, I don't know. I just don't know why you haven't just energetically said, I'm done, you know, I you're taking advantage of me and you're treating me like a doormat and you're not taking me seriously. Maybe you've lost touch of who you even are. You know, maybe it's a little bit hazy now because of all these demands that, you know, maybe were put on to you. So focus on the important things. Set clear boundaries up with these people and don't give in to them, okay? Don't give in to other people's demands. You don't need to. Do what's important to you. That's what I'm, I'm seeing here. And you're so close to completion to ending this negative cycle you're like right on the cusp of something wonderful I mean you've got the knight of pentacles here the knight of pentacles is he's stable you know he he's got the job you know he's got the job offer he's taken it he's building something for him himself you can put in her I, if I say him you know just plug in your pronoun there, but you know, this person is ready to focus on themselves. They are self-sufficient. Um, you know, that's what they want to master. They want to master their career. You know, they're, they don't want to have loans. They don't want to have debt. The Knight of Pentacles is a hard worker, very patient. They, they know that they will get success. That's why they work hard. Even if they don't have it yet, they they focus on the quality of their work. And if the quality of their work is up to par, then guess what? It's going to pay off eventually. So I feel like just don't let other people demand your attention. Focus on yourself. Don't let other people take advantage of you. This is kind of a warning. You know, this card, when it comes up, I'm not trying to be, you know, really negative, but it is a warning that someone or maybe multiple people um, are trying to divert you onto the wrong path. And you can choose to cut your energetic ties with them. That's really what you need to do. You know, cut the ties and you're going to feel like 
you know, this, this huge burden has just been thrown off your back. Some of you out there do need extra healing, so focus on chakra healing. I talked about in the last reading, um, listening to meditation videos at night, and uh, some of those, you can look up any type. Um, some of those are chakra healing. So you might want to listen to those as you're falling asleep, you know, um, to help you with any of these issues that you feel could be bogging you down. You're definitely being challenged and it's, can you handle this? Can you stand up and, you know, if these people won't compromise with you, then it's time for you to grow and do what makes you happy, what brings you pleasure. And then the last card you've got here is spell and this is manifestation. So, you know, this is the witch's wisdom. I, I'm not saying that you guys are all witches out there that you want to do stuff like that and it's up to you you know just burning candles that's magic okay so you can call yourself a witch if you burn candles because there is magic it's it's all about um the intention so you can manifest what you want in your life it's all about intentions desires goals be aware of your outcome where do you want to see yourself, you know, a year from now, two years from now? It's all about your thoughts, your actions, your words, your deeds. Just everything that you do, just focus on the highest good. The highest good for you, first of all, and then the highest good for those people around you. So use your powers for good. Concentrate on your intentions. You can use tools. You can use candles, like I said. You can use herbs. But understand and be careful with what you wish for. Isn't there a saying, uh, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it? So be careful. When you, when you have intentions, um, make sure what you want is really um, for the highest good of everybody. You don't want to wish, oh, well, I wish I wish they would die so I could have their job. No, you're not going to be able to manifest anything in that state of mind. You have to realize that what you send out is what you get back. So if you're sending out hate, discontentment, um, you know, resentment, um, jealousy, it's going to come right back on you. So there are consequences of our words, our thoughts, um, our actions, our deeds. There's consequences behind all of that. So focus, if you want to manifest something, really focus on your goals, what you want. And um, you can use candles, you know, green candles will help you to manifest money. Um, pink candles will help you to manifest love. Um, brown candles will help you with grounding and the home, contentment in the home. So you can use these candles to help you to manifest what you want, your desires, your goals. And I think that you're on the cusp of doing that. It's just uh, don't let people put demands on you because I feel like that's what's happened. You're letting other people kind of um, tell you what to do. So you will recover. You could need some rest. You could need some meditation. Clean your chakras up. Um, yeah. And that's the advice that you have if you pick number three. So I really hope you like this reading. Something different for me. I wanted to break from the love readings. And I know people do like the money readings. They're not as popular, but people do like them. So if you would like something similar to this, then go ahead and click on the link down below in the description box. That will take you to my Etsy page. I have many different readings over there for you. If you are interested, I do have a Patreon page. And over there I have many, many, many videos. Um, those are just for my Patreons. Uh, you can't access them unless you um, pledge $5 a month. And once you do that $5 a month, you have immediate access to all of those videos over there. Uh, there's 30 plus videos over there. 
and I also use the Tarot of Sexual Magic over there because YouTube is very strict when it comes to nudity. So that's what I'm doing. So thank you guys so much for coming. Wishing you blessings, love, and light. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.